Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to format a Microsoft Access date time value so it will show just the date if it's only a date or date time if there's a time specified and we don't want to see midnight. So for example, if you look at the screen there, you can see we've got February 1st, 1994, just the date. And the next one is February 1st, 2003 at 2 p.m. And we'll do this without using the general date format, which is kind of ugly because it shows seconds and the capital PM there. So we'll do all that in today's video. Today's question comes from Corinne from Henderson, Nevada, one of my platinum members. Corinne says, I built a database where I have a form that shows upcoming appointments and tasks. Some of the appointments have times, which I want to see. However, most of the items are just tasks that can be done at any time of the day. If I format the field to show times, they all show up as being at midnight, which doesn't look good. Is there any way to hide the time portion of the date if it's at midnight? Plus, I want to see just the hour and minute, not seconds. General date works, but it shows seconds and a capital AM PM. I'd like lowercase if possible. Well, you've got a lot in there, Corinne. Yeah, the general date does work, but like you said, it shows the seconds portion, which for most appointment calendars and stuff like that, you don't necessarily need to see seconds. And of course, it's AM, PM is capitalized. We can easily fix that to lowercase. But the other part is the tricky part. It's showing, showing a time with just hour and minute or just the date. So we'll, we'll see how we can get that done. Before we get started today, I got two prerequisites for you. You should know how to use the if function, immediate if, and you should know how to create calculated query fields. There's two links right there. I'll put them down below in the description. You can click on them, go watch those first, then come back and watch this video. You got to know how to do those things. So go on, get out of here, go. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free download off my website and go grab a copy if you want to. I'll put a link down below in the link section. Now in my database, I've got a couple of different fields I can use here. I've got uh, the date time field, the order date in my order table. I've also got the customer sense field, which is here in my customer table. Let's use this one. Let's use customer sense. We'll just pretend that this is an appointment date. So for some of these, we'll put times in here. Let's say I'll put uh, 2 p.m. on that one. Okay. And then I'll put 5 p.m. on this one down here. Okay, now as you can see, what you normally get at the table level is called the general date format. General date says, show me just a date if it's only a date, but if there's a time, show me that whole time format, which is hours, minutes, seconds, capital AM, PM. What Corinne wants is she wants just it to say 2 p.m. here or 2 o'clock p.m. or 5, let's put 5.30 p.m. in there. Okay, and that's not super easy to do, but we can get around that, we'll figure it out. Let's go make a query. Save changes to that, yes. Create query design. Let's bring in my customer table. And I'll bring in customer ID, first name, and let's go find that customer sense field right there and run it. And there we go. You can see it's still general date. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is figure out if this is a date only or if it's a date with a time. And we can use the date value function to split that apart, to pull only the date value part out. So let's go in here. Let's make a calculated query field. If you haven't done that yet, go watch my video on calculated query fields. I'll put a link down below. We'll call this field date only, and I'll make this equal to the date value of customer sense, just like that. Here, I'll zoom in better so you can see it. All right, date only. This is a calculated field. That's what we're going to call it. Use the date value function of customer sense. And when I run this now, this field here shows me just dates. Now, obviously, if this is null, we're going to get an error over there. So we're going to hide any null value. So customer sense, we only want to see these if this is not null. Okay. All right. Because obviously it wouldn't be in your, your appointment calendar if there's no date on it. Now I can check to see if this is a date only or a date with a time by simply comparing these two. If they're equal, that means that this is only a date. If they're not equal, then it's got a time. Knowing that, I can use the if function, IIF, the if function. And again, if you haven't watched my if function video, go watch that. And then based on that value, I can 
either format it as a date or format it as a date with a time. But first, a real quick word from my sponsor. That's me. If you want to learn more about formatting for dates, pick up my Access Beginner Level 3 class. I talk about all the different field properties, the format property, all that different stuff. That's Access Beginner Level 3. I'll put a link down below. So let's come into here. Design view. Next field. I'm going to zoom in for this one. Shift F2. This is going to be called date with time. All right. And it's going to be if, immediate if, if date only equals customer sense, comma, that means then, we're going to format this as a date only. So format customer sense, comma, how do you want to see it? M -M -D -D -Y -Y. All right. Comma, else, this is the otherwise part of the if function. We're going to format it as a date with the time we want to see. So format customer sense comma m m d d y y h colon n n that shows a single digit hour if it's like five o'clock or double if it needs both of them all right but n n i always want to see two digits so it's 501 okay and then lowercase a m slash e m close that up close that up that's the closing parentheses for the format closing parentheses for the if function hit okay and let's see what we got and there we go. And it's formatted. Now we can see that dates have just dates. Dates with times have both there in the format that Curran wants to see it. Okay. The only problem we have now is this is not editable. This is a calculated field. So if I come in here and try to change it, I'm tapping on the keyboard, nothing's happening. So if we want to display this on a form, a little more work is needed. And I will cover that in the extended cut for the members. Here it is, extended cut for the members. I'll show you how to format a form on the fly. So as you move from record to record, the format changes just like that. Okay, and it's fully editable. You can change that right in place. I'll also show you how to do it with just hours. Like here, for example, one o'clock has no minutes. I personally don't like the way that looks, but I'll show you how to do it anyways. Okay, this is all covered in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. There's also an additional extended cut, an extended extended cut for the gold members, where I show you how to do the same thing, but instead of using a single form, we'll change the format on the fly for a continuous form, so each row has its own unique format. How is that possible? Well, you'll have to become a gold member to find out. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full-length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the Show More link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.